After a year of homeschooling, virtual learning, and hybrid classes, just about everyone has a new appreciation <laughs> for educators and support staff. Isn't that the truth? Talitha Vickers met with a dynamic educator before the pandemic who took one of the lowest performing schools in the state and flipped it to become one of the best. Here is why Paula Wilkins from Cook Literacy Model School was chosen by the Gateway YWCA as this year's children's champion. All right, what we're working on for math here? A quiz. Wait a minute, a quiz and we're talking about it? Yeah. Is this a collaborative quiz? You won't find Cook Elementary School principal Paula Wilkins in an office. Oh no, she's hands on and boy, is it making a difference. Boom. Got this man. My baby, huh? <laughs> we are walking through the halls of what used to be one of the lowest performing schools <sighs> in the state of North Carolina. What did you do? What, what, what did you sprinkle on it to make a change? Sprinkle or douse? Oh, I think okay. it's the question. <laughs> um, I think we've done a lot. I think one is committed teachers, um, investing in children every day and championing results is one. I think community partnerships have been huge. Consistency in leadership and consistency in the building has been a huge hallmark of our work and ensuring that we can do that every day yeah. for children and showing up for them, I think are all small but huge um, factors in our ongoing progress. You try it out for me, what were you thinking? You said, I see a bird. 18 years in education, this former director of human resources for Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools and instructional specialist for the district sets the tone for excellence. Good morning, guys. So what are we writing about today? The about the rainforest. Staff and students are guided daily by the motto, you can because we will. All right, Principal Wilkins, you're laying down the law in there. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> when the students see you coming, they seem to have a, a sense of joy. I mean, they literally <laughs> light up when they see you. How does that make you feel? Definitely good. Um, one of the things being here four years, I think I've been a constant for students. So from the moment they enrolled or the moment we started in 2016, I've always been here. I always tell people it doesn't take the principal to be the leader in the building. There are so many people who are leaders. I want to grow and continue to grow leaders, but it does take a building of leaders to make change happen. And when students get it, Dr. Wilkins says, it's magical. She credits her dedicated staff, which she is so proud of, noting that Cook Elementary will always have a special place in her heart. I think it is connecting with children in, in the community. Um, I'm a product of this community. My grandparents live right here in Boston Thurman and they still live here. And so to be able to come back and to impact the neighborhood that you grew up with, I don't think there's a greater reward. So I think I'm really proud of that, to just be able to come and do this work. Work that takes a community effort and resources from community partners to create educational collaborative spaces. We're in our teacher resource room okay. where we house our literacy um, program called American Reading Company. It has done wonders for engaging our children in reading. So for a teacher, you don't have to go to five places to pick up things. Mm -hmm. So this has been like our one-stop shop. In-house. In-house. Yeah. Awesome. By far, this has been my most challenging yet rewarding job because the work is just super purposeful. The 41st Annual Women of Vision Awards takes place this Thursday, June 24th, with a networking opportunity at 11.30 a.m., followed by the awards presentation from noon to 1 p.m.